Shriveled noise to the left. Fair play. <laughs> it's not the warmest of <laughs> What have we got? What are we doing? What's we have here? got my recently acquired, don't really know why, Civic DJ9. <laughs> B20 VTEC, B20 Frankenstein, whatever you want to call it. Um, don't really know what happened here. I've kind of lost my mind and bought something naturally aspirated without the intent of boosting it. <laughs> To be honest, I'm not even a big fan of Hondas, so <laughs> so yeah, done something really. really the lifestyle has been cooling, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, so just gonna get it on the ramp today. Coilovers, oil and filter change, wheels. Um, just yeah, sort a couple of little bits out in preparation for. Well, just trying to get the rest of the car finished. Really, like it's had all the engine box, everything's been done. Um, Cam got a nice exhaust system on it, so. It's just kind of finishing off the last bits of the car. Once I've got suspension wheels done, um, I need to get a Honda RS 300 sorted and some white band, and then we'll get that on, retune it, and see what she can do. Nice. What are you yeah. starting with then? Oil and filter, probably. Oil and filter. Yes. And then? Um, don't know. Got we'll some wheels for it as well, haven't you? We have it We have some fresh wheels, fresh rubber. Fresh coilies. Fresh some brace, some braces and stuff. So awesome. Okay, so what? Oil change first, yeah? Yeah. Brake conversion's the other one as well. If you want to do a brake conversion, do you? Need to do a brake conversion. What are you going to do? Like FN2s or something? Or? Um. I'll be honest. I've kind of got a buddy sorting that out because old Hondas aren't really my strong point. Oh, oh I see. So. Um, so yeah, he's going to give us a hand with that. Um, from what he said, I'm just exhaust this new as well, isn't it? Um, from the uh, here, yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pretty tidy for a million year old car. Yeah, and no, it's all right. It's all right. Cool. So yeah, just going to um, stop the oil change procedure. <clears throat> See what you do is you just drill a hole. <laughs> right in there. <laughs> Drill a hole in there and the oil falls out. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? What are you doing, Joseph? China's finest. Oh, <laughs> I see. Yeah, China's finest. So they're what, max speed? Oh, yes. Live the dream. Yeah, something like that. They come with the car, didn't they? Um, not exactly that one. The owner had bought them to put them on, didn't put them on, so I bought them off. Fair enough. Maybe subject to change in the future. They work, they work, I suppose. That's a thing, isn't it? To be fair, it hasn't got a hand in the best. Well, it's not a track car, is it? Well, it's, it may be doing a track there much. Christ's sake. Yeah, I've already promised to take it on the track with clears already. So, yeah, because I've already missed, um, already missed a track day. Well, to be fair, I didn't miss it. I weren't really, didn't have my heart set on going to it. This is the same one that I refused to go to, yeah? The one in December? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I got offered to do it, and it was kind of like, I don't know, no, there was a November one, I think, but the Clio was going down at that point, and then got offered to do one in December, and I didn't do it because I didn't have the Clio be back or not. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of one of those. Hello. Something about track days. Something about <laughs> track days. Yeah, yeah. so, um, <clears throat> hello. So, yeah. On your knees, where you belong. 
That's one thing I haven't missed is your poor attitude. So, um, so yeah, basically that's kind of the plan. As I've said, if um, if the Clio is not ready for a track day, then yeah, I'll bring this along, provided it passes noise. And yeah, I don't uh, think it's going to pass noise. No, we'll see. Depends how hard they want me to rev it. <laughs> About five <laughs> grand usually on something with this. I give them like three. <laughs> <laughs> do that in the Astra, they told me to give them five, and I was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> we had my first ever track day in the Astra, and I'm like, oh, give us five, and I went, like, to six. <laughs> and I got 102, just. Fair. I think I kicked off track though, so it was all right. Well, that's the main thing. Yeah, it was all right. It was all right. So, yeah, just got this going back together right quick, and then I'll do the other side, and then once that's done, do the back. Sweet. So we'll catch up at some point doing that. Sounds like a plan. Hello. Hello. So front's on. Yes. We've got some freshly coated, yeah. freshly rubbered wheels going on now. Boy. Lovely. Yeah. Floats nicer. They do look a lot better to be fair. Yeah, a lot better. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell what's happened? <laughs> wheel bolts, haven't I have ordered new wheel bolts. Okay. Ordered, bolts or. Yeah, nuts. Um, sorry, yeah, nuts. I've ordered. Counter sunk tuner bolts. Right. They run like the. Look like a big torx key. So. When you say you've ordered, <laughs> you've ordered them, I'm getting the impression that they aren't here. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, they should be here, to be fair. Hopefully. May Timber the 32nd. Well, if they've not made it here today, I'm kind of hoping tomorrow. Cool. The wheel looks good, though. So. The wheel does look good. That's um, fine. We can are you it. sure that they're not in amongst the crap that's on your desk? Uh, it's been delivered today, no? Yeah, okay. no. Uh, what's been delivered today? I don't know. There's a crap all over your desk. Oh, let's go have a look. Watch out, it's boxer. So no. Fun times. Okay, so you're not getting your balls back on today then? Yeah, it doesn't matter, I still do the backs anyway, so that's fine. Um, cool. We'll just see if they're not they on the ship. Yeah, I had a gut feeling more than them would be a good idea. I'm kind of glad <clears> I did, so. Yeah, seems to be a good shout. So they're estimated for tomorrow, to be fair. Okay, cool. Oh, sh**, it's going with Hermes. They could never oh, get God. Yeah, even, they... even being made of stainless steel, they're going to come broken. Yeah, they may never get here. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, I can, I can get the rears on, and we'll get that done, and then... Yeah. That's fine, but yeah, new wheel nut's a good idea, so... Awesome. So, yeah, that's going back away over there, I suppose, is it? Yep. So, yeah, that's all right. They look so tiny. Yeah. What are they? 16s? 15s. 15s. Yeah, Best all round size wheel that is. It is like For acceleration and top speed, genuinely. 15. Oh, really? Yep. Yep, 15. Usually quite bad for grip nowadays because the car's more powerful, but at this, this kind of era, yeah, 15 inch wheel is what you want. Perfect. Living the dream. Hello. 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 How are we? <laughs> Okay, Good. so what are we up to? What are we done? Where are we? Um, oil and filter change is done, front coilovers are done, the rears are done, minus the one bolt we kind of lost to science. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I might have snapped that one. Uh, it's here somewhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. That's what's left of it. <laughs> to be fair, Old Honda, one bolt snap and doing coilovers, I'm really impressed. Yeah, that weren't bad. To be yeah, sure. I was kind of, I, I was saying to, uh, saying to the missus last night, normally when you do a job like this, it's every bolt snaps bar one. Yeah. So, yeah, for one bolt to snap, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, to be fair, the fronts, I think, are, it's all been apart on the front in the conversion. Fronts were easy, weren't they? They were like, <laughs> everything, everything was tight, but it come undone all right. And yeah. um, everything came apart quite easily as well. So I'd say it's all been apart. 
Mm -hmm. um, when the conversion was done, which is fine. Have we got a bolt coming today? No, tomorrow. tomorrow. So, okay. yeah, I've had to order the bolt from Honda and then I've just got to find the correct size and thread pitch nut to go on that when that's up here. That's the easy part, I, know, um, I suppose. Also waiting on wheel nuts, which apparently Hermes tried delivering this morning. So, um, yeah. Unfortunately, which they haven't because I was here, but. Unfortunately, yeah. the wheels are not coming off, not or going cool, on guys. today, sorry. Not cool. So, yeah, so. Um, so, we've got bolt and then obviously finding the nut to get the rear arm back on yeah. wheels do that. wheels on and then adjust suspension up a mm -hmm. little bit higher than we need so it can settle yeah um get the brace on in the engine bay mm -hmm. to be fair, we could do that today couldn't we yeah i just want to find that that bit of silicon to replace yeah i want to um, get the blue bit of silicon yeah i've got to do that um yeah get the brace on uh, adjust the spoiler? You want to do some spoilers? Yeah, spacing? Well, I don't know, maybe. Okay. I'll see how bothered I can be. <laughs> Just being honest. Fair enough. <laughs> it's not like the end of the world doing that. Um, so yeah, I'll see what happens with that one. Mm -hmm. um, then yeah, like I said, I've just got to get Honda ordered and wideband ordered. Um, to be fair, I keep I keep meaning to do it and I keep holding off because with how close to Christmas we are, I'm probably not going to get to the new year anyway. Yeah. So I might just wait till like the end of the month and I'll order it then. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, look to get that fitted, get it on the dyno, retune it. I'm just looking into the cams at the moment. Okay, do you um, know what they are? No. Just bigger, just bigger <laughs> They're cams. just bigger cams. Okay, cool. But basically, the verniers are clocked, so I'm just trying to work out from, work out from the marks, A, how much they're advanced or retarded by, and also if they're advanced or retarded. Right. Because <laughs> um, really, when I tune it, I want to zero the cams out, yep. tune it, yep. and then start advancing like a degree or two degrees at a time to yeah. see um basically see the difference it makes obviously data log it and everything uh -huh. else but if they're retarded then i may not want to be advancing them loads I, I, yeah. that's why i need to work it out because if they're if they're backed off like 10 degrees yeah um there's going to be a reason for it but for sure but i don't know if it's i mean i'm like like i said before i'm not familiar with the ecus on these like at all um this is so is this tuned? Yeah, it's on a P28 JDM socket and ECU. Right, okay. But we don't know if it's been tuned on Chrome, HTS, got no idea. Right, okay. Um, it did 220? Two, two, yeah, done 190 at the wheels, 227 at the crank. Okay. Um, How much are we it, hoping that the ECU and stuff and being able to custom tune it? Are you more trying to smooth the graph? I'll be or brutally you... honest. Um, I mean, because obviously I've, I've been doing quite a, look, a lot of looking into this because I don't really know a lot about the B20. Um, the is B20, it just so you can sort of play? Yeah, it? It's, I mean, so these are originally are a non-VTEC engine. It's a B20B. People then do a B20 VTEC or B20 Frankenstein, which is normally a B16 head. Um, various cams, various other modifications, blah, 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 blah. Yep. From what I've been told, this engine is built, so it is a high comp NA build. Okay. Um, which, to be fair, I'm not going to lie, to think about boosting it, because that's what we do, but... Obviously, if it's high comp, it's going to be a very bad idea. Um, so my plan is just to kind of stick to the plan and run with it as it is. Yeah. Um, but like I keep saying, like these are not my specialty. Like I've never, I don't think I've ever tuned a petrol Honda. Oh, sorry, I've done some like Type R's and stuff, <clears throat> but I've never done the older ones. Yeah. So there's still a lot I'm working out. I've never played with cams in them. So I'm just trying to work out the best way forward and okay. I think yeah I mean when I'm not sure of something I, I kind of second guess myself quite a bit so I, I like to do as much research as I can yeah um, because at the end of that I mean I, I've got no issue with like Jesse or someone tuning it because he's you know he's incredibly skilled at what he does and he's well known for his Hondas but also I own a tuning shop and I own my own dyno and I'm more than capable so it's kind of I'd yeah. rather put the hours in myself and learn to do it myself than well once you've learned it you've learned it haven't you I suppose yeah so um so that's kind of the plan. I'm just trying to work out the cams at the minute. Uh -huh. um, I mean, it comes on VTEC late. It's like six and a half thousand RPM and it revs to eight seven, okay. which is quite high for a B20. Yeah. Um, which would obviously support the fact it's been built to a degree. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to work out a bit more on the pulley side of things and like I said, work out if they're advanced or retarded. Cause if they're, if they're retarded, I've got to work out how I'm gonna play it. Um, mm. So yeah. Cool. Yeah, interesting times. Okay, so I guess we'll pick it up when the wheels nuts get here. If they ever get there. If they, yeah. Uh, cool.
Cool. Hello. Hello. What's going on? New year. New year. New carpets. <laughs> so, if memory serves, we left off with double suspension. Yeah, so we were fitting suspension and a couple of other... Random bits as well. Yeah, ones. giving it a service, just normal sort of stuff. Um, I have got to mention, in part one, I did make some mistakes, so I didn't really know the full spec of the car. So, basically in the time between then, starting part two and the Christmas break, um, Nathan with the conversion put me in touch with the guy who actually supplied everything to the customer, um, and who built the engine, who tuned it, everything. So I've now, now got the full spec for everything. Um, the gearbox is an S4C LSD box with an M-Factory 5.1 uh, final drive, not an SB9. Um, it was tuned by his friend who built the engine. Uh, it's basically, it was given a, a basic street to tune just to kind of get it safe, but it does have a proper tune, which obviously I'll be sorting very soon. Um, I'm trying to think what else? Um, yeah, I did, I did do some, so I kind of did some bits on YouTube to try and and make some pop-ups happen, but it only works if your subtitles turned on. Yep. So I just wanted to mention a few of those bits. Um, the full spec will be down below in the description. I did put it in part one as well. As always, ignore what we say and read the description. Yeah, read the description, makes life easy. <laughs> but yeah, basically where we're at now... We, Obviously wheels are on. Yeah. Because so we were waiting for wheel nuts. Yeah, we were waiting for wheel nuts. They arrived, I think a day or two later, so I just got them, I think I came in on my own, got the wheels on, um, and done some other bits here. We had to get a bolt, which is why we couldn't bring it down. Yeah, so yeah. we had to get a bolt that goes through the one of the shocks and the lower control arm because it broke, mm -hmm. as they do. We're in the middle of doing new <laughs> rear lower control, so I was trying to get them before, and then when Nathan was around, I wasn't around, and, and so on. So I managed to get them over the Christmas period where we put the car back together. So we're in the middle of doing that. Two bolts have snapped, the only two bolts we didn't touch have now snapped. Cool, sir. <laughs> so they're all from Honda, hopefully have them tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And it's arrived. What is this? S300 on data. Nice. So I'm going to be going to see another buddy of mine tonight who's going to solve this in for me because I haven't done any precision soldering for like, I don't even know how many years. Somebody. So. Yeah, he kind of offered to do it, so I was like, yeah, no drama, we'll get that done. Awesome. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that tonight. Just wait for wide band arriving, which I think should be here Friday. Hashtag, damn you, Royal Mail. Yeah, let's not go there. <laughs> so that should be here Friday, and then depending on how my week plays out, I'm going to try and get it in by the end of the week, base mapped. I've already built a base tune for it anyway. Um, but that's pretty much my plan. This week or next week? This week. Yeah? Okay. So yeah, as that's pretty much my plan, is try and get it back together fully by the end of the week. S300 poured in, ECU back in the car, wide band installed, base map on, base timing set and running, mm -hmm. so it can drive off. Yep. And then my aim next week, if I have time, is get it on the dyno tune. Okay, cool. So and that is a big if I have time. Yeah. But, well, we've done everything that we started on previously. Though, haven't we? Strut braces on, wheels are on, suspension is done. Obviously, the lower arms and stuff is a new addition to the plan. But yeah. Cool. So time yeah, for yeah. some S three hundred lower. I'm looking forward to it. I've never never tuned one before. So, um, but that's what we did over the, over the Christmas period. So after I ordered it, I downloaded S Manager, um, started with the basic calibration, which I think was for a B twenty. VTEC head with Proa 403 cams, and from the research I've done, Proa 403s are meant to the stage 2 cam. This is running Skunk 2 tuner stage 3 cams. Okay. Uh, so I have yanked like, the timing out because there's, it's probably going to be. To compensate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably probably going to need to. Yeah. So I yanked a load of time out kind of everywhere just to mm -hmm. keep it. Keep it well, base map just a starting ground, isn't it? You know, that's yeah, where well, the I've, tried, I've from. tried going for good base timing, so it should, in theory, make the right power. Uh -huh. um, but I am going to run through everything because I know, you know I've seen a lot of people saying with B20 VTEX, you tend to get a lot of knock in your general like, driving and cruising area because they run quite a lot of timing, which with these you don't want to do. So yeah. I've, I've been quite conscious to try and build a very safe base tune, but one that should yield hopefully good power. Yep. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's pretty much the plan. Just got to get it, got to get it buttoned up, get it off the ramp get the geometry done, 
Um, so we have got some camera arms going as well at the front. Yeah. So that's pretty much the plan, get it done, get it off the ramp, get the alignment done, go to stick some fresh, good feel in it, and then um, yeah, hit dino pretty much. Send it to the moon! And yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what we can get out of it. So... What do you... you we were aiming for 250. My, my, if I can see 240, I'd be out there. Okay. Um, I mean, that's not what we were saying this morning, but okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But, so Helen, my missus, has already said 252 is what she's betting. Um, to be fair, if I can do 240, I'd be happy. Um, but so, 250 would be great. More is better. Yeah, I mean, the, the previous owner of the engine and gearbox and everything, him and his mate reckon it will do 250. So. Awesome. Uh, we will run on 99 Octane as well, because I don't use E10. No. It's not like I don't use it. It's not, no, it's don't just, just don't use, use not 99. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, okay. so we're, we're going to run on 99. Um, and we'll see what happens. I mean, at the end of the day, it makes it a mate. So like, even, even if I only get it a little bit more than it had already, I'll, I'll be, be happy. Yeah. So, I mean, it's still a good car. It's just, it's just about doing a more comprehensive tune. Um, you know, it really takes some time. And that's the idea. It's just getting as good as we can get it throughout. So, awesome. But yeah, so, it should be good. Lower control arms. Yeah, low control arms, front camera arms, wide, wide, uh, band, wide band, and extended. on that side. Yeah. That is the plan. And geometry. And geometry. And dyno. And dyno. Join us in part 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9.